Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very warm welcome to you all as we celebrate the marriage of Josh and Ellen in this wonderful location, a place of total beauty, and most importantly, a place that secures the memory of the uniting of our happy couple. We're all here today because of one wonderful word, love. Love is the great unifier. It's our one universal truth. No matter whom we are, where we come from, what we believe, we know this one thing today. Love is what Ellen and Josh are doing right. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. This is a wonderful day for Alison and I, seeing our stunning daughter, Ellen, starting a new chapter in her life with Josh. After these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I, Joshua, take you, Ellen Rebecca Milbourne, to be my wife. I, Ellen, take you, Joshua Cameron Robinson, to be my husband. This ring is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. This ring is a symbol of my eternal love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. These are the hands that will work alongside your own, building two lives as one. Ellen was born on a snowy evening in January in South Yorkshire. Jesus to a Child by George Michael was on top of the UK singles chart. <laughs> this was a surprise, because I always thought it was Wonderwall by Oasis, but apparently that never got to number one. It's a great shame, because that's the song I associate with you. You know, it's just, whenever I hear it, I think of you, nothing else. Meeting Josh during your university years and developing a strong, loving relationship. When we first met Josh, it was quickly obvious that they were a good match, and very much in love. During COVID, Josh moved into our house and both he and Ellen worked from home. Both had a desk and computer, they're cooped up in Ellen's small room all day long, and it worked, you know? It was just revealing to see how you coped and how your complementary personalities made it work. So it's great. It's hard not to be impressed by their combined efforts. When I first met Ellen, we were both waiting for a bus to school. She had her flute in one hand 
a maths textbook in the other, and unbeknownst to me, a strong northern accent. <laughs> Despite there being a few miscommunications, the language barrier <laughs> didn't stop our friendship from blossoming, and little did I know that this Barnsley babe <laughs> was <laughs> to become one of the most important people in my life for many years to come. We have so many amazing memories that create the foundations of our friendship group. I am so grateful <laughs> to Josh for making Ellen so happy. But I'd like to thank Ellen for being my person for all these years and Josh for being Ellen's person now. And Josh, that I hope that you enjoy growing old with Ellen as much as I've enjoyed growing up with her. Could we please raise a glass to the start of the next chapter for Mr. and Mrs. Robinson? <laughs> Thank you for everyone for coming. Um, for, for some, it has been a long journey. Um, to be here, we really appreciate it. I can speak for, I believe I can speak for Ellen as well. Um, and it means a lot that everyone would travel such a long way um, to come and see us. Uh, let's be honest, it's not for me. It's to see how gorgeous Ellen looks today. Um, which, And it's amazing that I can call this beautiful woman sat beside me, my wife. Uh, uh, truly the luckiest man alive. Thank you. Everyone stand up. Come on, everyone stand up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> to Ellen, everyone. To Ellen. <laughs> there you go. In all honesty, I can't imagine a more impeccably matched couple. Ellen's unwavering confidence in Josh's sometimes dubious construction skills and Josh's utter devotion to Ellen is a standard of love and companionship that we mere mortals can only aspire to.